Welcome, Brady, and congratulations on your award. Well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, why don't we start by talking a little bit about your background, where you came from, and what eventually brought you to Fitchburg State? I got my bachelor's and the master's degrees in China, and actually in Shanghai from Shanghai Normal University. And then I worked over there for about four years as a faculty in another university. In Shanghai? In Shanghai, yes. Yeah. And what was next? I decided to pursue my PhD, mm -hmm. so I came to the United States. Yes, yeah, so where did you get your PhD? Uh, I got my PhD from North Carolina State University okay, that's right. in Raleigh. Yeah. Now, after the graduation, I worked over th there for about seven years in in industry. In industry, uh, in telecommunication industry. Telecommunications, so yeah. And then, what brought you to um, changing from your industry work to um, thinking about a teaching profession? Uh, after the dot com bubble burst, now I decided to, you know come back to the uh, academia, so here I am. <laughs> so and with Fitchburg State was your first time, yeah, full-time teaching? Yeah, this is the first, yeah, that's the first, not first time, because I taught in China, you know. Okay. But, yeah, uh, it's, the f mm. it's the first college I teach in the United States, yeah. Awesome. Remind me how many years you've been at Fitchburg State. Yeah, it's about 20 years. Wow. So. And, I, and I think you've pretty much been involved in teaching graduate, pro graduate students in our graduate program yes, since the, you came. Yes, the first year when I joined the uh, Department of Computer Science, I started to teach both the uh, day class and the also the uh, GCE at the time. Yeah. And then, then you moved into um, the role as graduate program chair and probably have done that for almost 10 years. So yeah. having taught um, and worked with both undergraduate and graduate students, teaching, advising, et cetera, um, tell me what you think about some of the differences between our graduate and undergraduate students. I can see the difference when I do the advising, you know. For the undergraduates, sometimes many, some of the students, they, they're kind of lost. They don't know what, what their career, career path is going to be, you know, so you need to, you know, s sometimes babysit them because they, they need their, really need their advice. But the graduate students are very different. So and they know exactly what they want, highly motivated. And uh, when I do the advising, many times they know exactly which courses they want to take. Our graduate program in computer science, of course, has seen tremendous growth over the years. Um, w w Talk about that a little bit. What do you think is happening there? The graduate program has been around for many years since I joined the Fitchburg State University. I think the graduate program is already there. Um, but it was like very stable. We had about between 40 and uh, 50 students. After the COVID, you know, it's just uh, the enrollment just jumped. Just you know. jumped. You know, it doubled. But it seems like if they're still the trend time. is actually, you know, continue, you know, that, you know, so I hope this trend is going to continue, you know. That's awesome. And I know your program offers both online and face-to-face um, -face opportunities. Talk a little bit about the, um, your graduate students and what, you know, and your advising role. And what do you think makes a good graduate advisor? The program is kind of different from many other programs because we have a lot of international students. You do. You know, so, which is not unusual because, you know, if I look at the, if you look at the other, you know, the programs in other universities, for most of the STEM programs, you know, you're going to see a lot of international students. For most of them, it's, it, this is the first time for them to travel like a thousand miles yes. to other countries. So, so they need, uh, not just academic advising, but uh, sometimes they need some help from in other areas, you know. For sure, they're 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 new to the country, they're new to the university, and yes, I, and your program is highly populated. Yeah, as an as a advisor, I think I what I need to do is I want to make sure that I just make sure they just feel like home, you know, mm -hmm. when they travel to this country. Yeah, you know, you're obviously successful at that because the international students are keep coming to us, and lots of times it's from referrals from those that you've mentored. Oh yeah, um, recently we have a lot of transfer students from other nearby uh, institutions. You know. what, what would you say about the future of the graduate program? Yeah, I hope that uh, we're still gonna grow the program, mm -hmm. 
both online and, uh, and regular face-to-face, -face, you know. There's a need for both. The functionality of the universe is not just uh, like a business, but you should also serve the community, you know. You, if you keep the uh, regular programs, students are going to come to the city of Fitchburg. They're going to live here. They're going to support the community as well. Yeah, absolutely. Know? Couldn't yeah. agree with you more. Yeah, if you, if you actually accept only the online students, then what's the point of having a campus, right? <laughs> so yeah, you offer both, which is great, because um, certain yeah. students need certain kinds of ways to access higher ed, so yeah. kudos so to you. Yeah. Um, Brady, for those faculty who haven't yet had a chance to, um, or an opportunity to get involved in graduate programs on our campus, what might you say to them to encourage them to think about that? Teaching the graduate pro courses certainly going to benefit the undergraduate program, you know, because um, I know many students, they, they come here to study the computer science and the graduate program. Some of them really want to actually continue with the graduate program. Well, thank you for chatting um, with me, Brady. It's yeah. been a pleasure. Congratulations on your award. It's well-deserved um, and um, quite an honor. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy.